Welcome to the spoken tutorial on developing a basic model in Ascend. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build a basic model, add methods to the basic model, and write dimensionally consistent equations. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 12.04 and Ascend version 0.9.8. To know more about Ascend, please visit ascend4.org. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website spoken-tutorial.org. Let's begin the tutorial with a simple example. In this example, let us solve three simultaneous equations with three unknowns. We will use a text editor like gedit to write our model. I already have the code for the example in a text file. Let me explain the code. Open the file mymodel.a4c in a text editor. Initially, we mention the library, that is, a collection of predefined models that we need in our model. Here, we require the basic system.a4l library. .a4l extension denotes the Ascend4 library. The name of the library is written in double quotes. Note that semicolon is a statement terminator in Ascend. Ascend considers all the statements as one sentence if semicolon is not put after each statement. Model my underscore model begins a model with name my underscore model. You can give any name to the model. In Ascend, comments are written in parentheses enclosed within a pair of asterisk mark. Comments are not executed. They make the model easier to understand. We will now define the variables for our model. Any variable whose value is expected to be computed by ascend must be of type solver underscore var. Thus we define variables x, y, z, d and a as a solver var. The definition of the type solver var is predefined in the system.a4l library. is underscore a is an operator in ascend which is used to define variable types. The equations to be solved are x plus y plus z equal to a into d, x plus y plus 2z equal to 5 and 5x plus 2y minus 3z equal to 0. Note that we have not mentioned how to solve this given set of equations. We have also not mentioned which variables are to be specified and which are to be calculated. Now end this model with end my model. Now open this model in ascend. Note that Ascend has executed the onload method by default. This can be seen from the message in the panel below. Observe that Ascend has given default values of 0.5 to each of the variables. Now click on the solve icon. Ascend displays the result. This can be confirmed in the panel below. A converged message is displayed after the successful completion of the calculations. Note that Ascend squared the system automatically by keeping the values of two variables y and d as default values and calculated the values for rest of the variables. Now suppose we want to make x and d as our fixed variables by assigning values to them and solve for a, y and z. Then right click on d and select properties from the drop down menu. Under values, assign a value to d. Here I am giving the value 1. Now in solving section, select fixed. Click on apply and ok. Now similarly repeat the same procedure for fixing the value of x. Observe that Ascend has solved the model and you will have a new set of results. Note that the fixed variables are shown in green color and the free variables 
calculated by Ascend are shown in blue color. Also note that the final results have been displayed with a tick mark and the fixed variables have been denoted by a closed lock icon. We can also specify the fixed and free variables in the code and assign values to the variables. We can also specify the fixed and free variables in the code and assign values to the variables. In ascend, the solution procedure is separate from the problem statement. Methods contain procedures to solve the model. We will now explain different methods to solve our model. Open the file mymodel.a4c in a text editor. We write the methods after equations. Now remove the line end my model. Delete the parenthesis and asterisk mark in front of methods and at the end of the code. Under method specify we fix variables A and D. We also assign values to the variables as A is equal to 1 and D is equal to 3. Note that to assign values to a particular variable, we use a colon and equal to sign together. I will refer colon and equal to sign as is equal to from here on. Under method on load, we run the method specify. This is the method that describes ascend the action to be taken when a model is loaded. Now end the method on load, end my model and save this file. Now open this with ascend. Now under methods select on load, click on run and then click on solve icon. Observe that Ascend has fixed the variables A and D and calculated the values for X, Y and Z. Now open the code for mymodel.a4c again. Now remove the values assigned under specify. Now we will add a new method called values. Type method values and then type a is equal to 1, d is equal to 2 and end values. Now under on load type run values after run specify. Now save the file and open it with ascend. Again run the method on load and click on solve. You will see ascend has fixed variables a and d and assigned the values as mentioned under values section in the code. Now let's look at an interesting feature of dimensional consistency in ascend with the help of another model. Here we will compute the mass of a cylinder. I already have the code for this model. Let me explain the code. Open cylinder.a4c with a text editor. Note that here we require atoms.a4l library as compared to systems library used earlier in the last model. Atoms is a refined version of system library and contains the definition of various variable types that represent different physical units. For example, we write V is a volume, M is a mass, etc. Volume, mass, etc. are different variable types defined in atoms.a4l. This helps in ensuring that the equations written in ascend models are dimensionally consistent. After this, we write equations and methods as explained earlier. Note that while specifying value for these variable types, we need to mention the corresponding physical units in curly brackets. Here we write V is equal to 100 centimeter cube and P is equal to 100 kg per meter cube. Note that V is in CGS units while P is in SI units. 
the user doesn't have to worry about the units as ascend itself performs the unit conversion. Now open this file in ascend. Now once again run the onload method and solve the problem. Observe that ascend has converted the value of volume into SI units and then calculated the mass in SI units. Note that Ascend by default uses SI units until specified otherwise. Now let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to build a basic model, add methods to the basic model and write dimensionally consistent equations. Do the following assignment. Edit the model cylinder in a text editor and make it dimensionally inconsistent. For example, write m is a distance instead of mass. Now run this dimensionally inconsistent model in ascend and observe the output. Add more variables and equations to the model cylinder.a4c and solve it in ascend. Information on Spoken Tutorial project is available on our website spoken-tutorial.org. Details of the workshops based on Spoken Tutorials is also available on the website. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD. This is Priya Bagde from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.